Yo, what is up guys, it's Pedro here, and the Washington football team's 53-man roster is finally out, so we're going to be talking about that in today's video. We're going to be talking about some surprise cuts, some of the moves that I love, and some of the moves that I don't like, and you know, some possible players that the Washington football team could bring in, because they will definitely, definitely change this roster up in the next 24 to 48 hours in the next week because you know there's some positions like linebacker where they only have four out they're probably going to add at least one guy maybe even two and also they will likely put some players on ir so we're going to talk about that in today's video if you guys are new make sure to subscribe for washington and nfl content i am so close to 6,000 subscribers about 15 away so please 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 help me get there hit that like button and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video like this let's get right into the video so there were definitely some surprise cuts for the washington football team today and we'll get into those first let's get into a positional breakdown they kept three quarterbacks three running backs seven receivers four tight ends uh, nine offensive linemen, nine defensive linemen, four linebackers, which is insane, six cornerbacks, five safeties, and of course, three special team players. So I do expect them to sign a couple linebackers. You know, uh, there was a linebacker that the Panthers released yesterday. They could go after, or today they could go after him. There's some good linebackers out on the market. Maybe I'll make a video on that. Maybe, you know, they could sign KJ Wright. There's a lot of options out there. They did cut David Mayo, which is a little bit surprising to me. I did think he was going to make the roster as the fifth linebacker. And yeah, I, I'm a little surprised by that, but not too surprised. And, you know, here's the list of players that got cut. And we're going to get into, you know, position by position, you know, which players made the 53-man roster and something that, uh, you know, make sure just keep in mind that this roster we see today will be a lot different in the next 24 to 48 hours when we put players on IR, you know, add some new players. So just keep that in mind. So let's start off with the quarterbacks. No surprise here. We don't even have to talk about Fitzpatrick. Heineke and Allen, that is the order that they will be, you know, uh, uh, Fitzpatrick as a starter, Heineke as a backup, and Kyle Allen as the third string quarterback. Steve Montez was cut, so that we, uh, nothing surprising there. And then same, I mean, the running backs, not really too surprising. Gibson, McKissick, and Patterson, originally on my 53-man roster a few days ago, I had uh, Peyton Barber making it, but then I did change and put uh, just these three making it, and you know, Gibson, McKissick, and Patterson, I like this room, and you know, I just was never a huge Peyton Barber fan, like I knew he was good at the short yardage situations, but I feel like Gibson can do the same thing, even though he didn't do it in that preseason game on that fourth and one, that's just one play, he was able to score on a lot of, you know, short yardage situations last year, I thought he was good at that, and then you know, Patterson, he played great in the first two preseason games, didn't play great in the third one, but he showed his ability to, you know, pass, block, and pick up some blitz blitzes. And also, one quick thing before we continue, I did make a video about, you know, an hour ago talking about, you know, specifically AGG, Jimmy Moreland, and Peyton Barber getting cut. So after this, if you guys want to go watch that, go ahead. So I'm excited about this, though, because Jared Patterson is going to be likely going to be active on game day. So he's going to get, you know, he's going to be involved in the offense at least a little bit, and he's going to play on special teams, maybe as a kick returner, but he is on some of those unit on those, you know, punt team units and kick uh, kicking team unit. So I'm excited to see him this year. I really, really love that he made the roster as, you know, an undrafted free agent and he made the roster. So great story. And I, I expect a, you know, not a huge, huge se season by him, but I hope he can develop into a good player where once, you know, if McKissick is gone after this year, Jarrett Patterson will be our second guy and he can be a third down back. Uh, and also, I think they kept him because I much rather have Jarrett Patterson getting 15 carries a game if Gibson did go down than Peyton Barber getting 15 carries. Um, so next receiver, this is really where I I have a little bit of a problem with who they kept at receiver. I like Terry Curtis, Adam Diami, and Cam uh, Cam Sims. Those guys, I've been saying they're going to be on the team for a while. 
and I do like that they kept Dax Milne. I thought, you know, uh, he's been solid for us in, you know, preseason, and he can be their punt returner and even kick return, but we have someone like Jared Patterson and others to do that, but I just don't really like that they kept DeAndre Carter and Dax Milne. If DeAndre Carter was an elite returner, then I would like that, and I would get it, but DeAndre Carter leads the league in fumbles since 2018, and you know, his stats are overly impressive, so that's just something that I don't like, that DeAndre Carter uh, made this roster, and so did Dax Milne. I wish it was one of the two, and I, I would prefer Dax Milne to make it, but they both made it, uh, you know, I would have, like I said, would have been fine if they kept the six, and it was Dax Milne uh, as a six, or if they kept seven, and they kept Dax Milne and AGG. You know, not too upset about it, though. Uh, we'll see how it goes. And, you know, maybe they will end up cutting DeAndre Carter to make room for another player, too. We will see. That is going to be interesting to see moving forward. And, you know, yeah, let's go on to tight end. A little, not too surprising here. Logan Thomas made it. John Bates made it. And Samus Ma uh, Reyes made it. That's a great, great story. I know a lot of people are huge fans of him. So am I. I love that he made the roster. He's a developmental player. He's going to get, he might be inactive on game days. Not sure yet. It might start off where he's inactive for a few games, but I think eventually he will get some time on the field. And Ricky Seals Jones made it as the fourth tight, fourth tight end. And here's why I think Ricky Seals Jones make it. You look at Logan Thomas, great, you know, really good tight end last year, had close to 700 yards, six touchdowns. I think he's going to have another good season this year. John Bates, Samus Reyes, both of those guys have not played a single NFL snap, and one of those guys have played one organized game of football in his life, and if you want to run three tight end sets, I don't know if that's the best idea to just keep those three, so that's probably why they kept four tight ends, but you know, again, it, there could be a situation where they do end up cutting Ricky Seals-Jones for another guy that's, uh, you know, another tight end that's available like uh jacob hollister or I, I might be messing up the first name but it might be cody but i really would like us to go after him maybe as a fourth tight end he would be a solid option but really excited that samus reyes ended up making the roster Okay, so now on to offensive line, and no surprises here. I predicted them to keep nine and predict, uh, predicted them to keep these nine, and, you know, I think it's a solid group. They, you know, ended up cutting David Sharp, David Steinmetz, Wes Martin, uh, Bo, John Toth, and Keith, uh, Keith Ismail. I think if they can, they'll try to bring David Sharp, David Steinmetz, Wes Martin, and Keith. Uh, honestly, almost all of these guys will make it to the practice squad, if they do indeed make it there just because they got 16 spots. So it's definitely possible that he makes the roster or that they make the practice guard. Also, I before I forget this, I want to talk about David Bada because he was not on the list of released players. I'll show you guys right here. These are all the re uh, released players. And, you know, David Bada is not on there. Um, but this is tweeted by Nikki Jabal and really all of the beat reporters. The NFL granted the Washington football team an extended exemption for international player David Bada. Due to an existing injury per team PR, he was not released and he is not on the 53. He is still exempt, so they'll have to do something about that once he's, you know, healthy. I I'm not sure. Uh, kind of confusing because, yeah, we'll see what happens there. But it's not going to be a situation where he's able to play, but he's not on the 53-man roster. It's going to be one or the other. They keep him on the 53 or they put him to the practice squad, which he does not count for a spot. But yeah, offensive line, nothing too surprising here. I like the group. Got some solid depth. They cut David Sharp, David Steinmetz, Wes Martin. And you know, I said earlier, they likely all those guys are potential practice squad options. I'm excited about some of the young linemen, including Sam Cosme and Sadiq Charles. Even though Sadiq Charles is going to be a backup, I'm excited to see what he can do. So moving on to the defensive uh, ends and tackles. So uh, they kept Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne, Tim Settle, and Matt Ioannidis. You know, none of that surprises us at all. So he's going to, I really like that group. And, you know, the guys that were cut, Gabe Wright, 
uh, Lawrence and Wise. I think Wise is definitely a guy that will make the practice squad if he clears waivers. And Lawrence as well, because he was on the practice squad uh, last year. Let's go on to defensive end. So this is pretty interesting. Chase Young, Montez Sweat, James Smith-Williams, Casey Tuwill, and Shaka Tony. So I predicted them to keep nine defensive linemen. I got the number right. I just didn't get all of them right. And I, I did predict Casey Tool to make it, but instead I, I had William Bradley King making it instead of Shaka Tony. Shout out to Juan Gotti. He had Shaka Tony making it. And I think Shaka Tony made it because he can play on special teams. John Kime talked about that, that he's on their first team for special teams. And they want to keep some guys on defense just because of their special teams ability. And Shaka Tony does have some potential. So I think Shaka Tony, you know, he's got some potential. So it's great that they kept him. And, you know, they, they're going to probably get another edge rusher because they don't really got great depth there. And maybe Casey Tuhill goes on IR and they bring someone else in. There's a couple guys that are solid that did get released. So maybe they go after uh, one of them. And, you know, William Bradley King, only draft pick, only draft pick to get cut this year, I believe. So, you know, they had 10 draft picks. So have nine. I mean, I'm, it's not very, very impressive, but nine out of those 10 making it. Uh, I, I was a little surprised that two out of the three were ma uh, making it. I thought it was only going to be one of those guys making it. Um, but William Bradley King did not make it. And we'll see if he, again, if he clears waivers, he will be on the practice squad. I do like him. And I thought he played pretty well in camp and the preseason linebacker uh, was probably the biggest shock, not for the players that they kept or cut, but just the amount of players that they kept, just Jamin Davis, Cole Holcomb, Bostic, and Hudson. They didn't keep any of the special teams guys um, or depth guys and David Mayo, Jared Norris, and Jordan K. They're going to have to add at least one linebacker, maybe even two, because four line. no teams keep four linebackers at all. No teams keep four. They minimum keep five. Some teams keep six. So they're going to have to add someone else. And there's a couple out there, KJ Wright. I would really, really like if they could sign uh, KJ Wright as, you know, that weak side linebacker possibly. And you could have Jamin Davis in the middle and Cole Holcomb as the Sam linebacker. I would absolutely love that. But yeah, they're definitely going to add at least one, maybe two linebackers to this list. Only guy that little surprised me that got cut is David Mayo. I thought you know, they would keep them just because I thought they were going to keep five. But I think it's smart that, you know, they know that the guys that they have here really aren't any game changers and no one's going to pick them up. And if, you know, someone picks one of them up, that's fine because they got other two guys that they could bring in. They'll probably make the practice squad. But if they can't find any other linebackers uh, to sign that are better than these guys, they can easily bring one of those guys up. So I like that move by them of only keeping four and adding some better talent. Cornerback, these there were some surprises here. Kendall Fuller, William Jackson, Benjamin State Juice, and Troy McTire. No surprise there. And even Troy Apke, I don't think that was a surprise really. I thought he was going to make it. And I think they have a typo here because they say notable cuts and they have Dale Roberts, but they also have Dale Roberts making the team. But I'm pretty sure Dale Roberts did make the team. That's a little surprising. Uh, you know, having Dale Roberts make the team over Jimmy Moreland, that's surprising to me. But, you know, I, I think Jimmy Moreland is a really good backup to have some good depth. Plays nickel, but, you know, played outside in college. And I really think that was his natural position. Was a ball hawk at JMU. Wasn't able to do that here, especially at nickel or in the inside. But, you know, pro they are probably doing this because Kendall Fuller is likely going to switch into the uh, inside to the slot. And, you know, they are really high on Benjamin State Juice. But still, I do not like that they cut Jimmy Moreland. Uh, I'm fine with them keeping Troy Apke, honestly, because he's good on special teams. And you you need those guys, but keeping Dale Roberts over over sorry over Jimmy Moreland is a little bit questionable to me. And then safeties, no surprises here at all. Landon Collins, Bobby McCain, Cameron Curl, Derek Forrest, and Shazer Everett, Jeremy Reeves. You know I know people love him, and I, I like him too. Uh, just I didn't think he was going to make it just because of Derek Forrest. You know they. Derek Forrest can play special teams as a fifth round draft pick from this year. And, you know, Jeremy Reese probably won't make through waivers, but he might. And that's a situation where if they have to put Derek Forrest on IR, they can do that and bring up 
you know, bring in Jeremy Reeves or someone else. I think the candidates for IR, Derek Forrest, Torrey McTire, and Casey Tool. But I think Torrey McTire will be fine. And I forgot to talk about that in, you know, the cornerback section. But really, you know, props to him for making the roster. And I think they really, really like him. So I'm excited to see what he can do. And hopefully he is relatively healthy. And yeah, none of these safeties really surprised me. I think Landon Collins and Cameron Curl will start. Or it could be Landon Collins and Bobby McCain with Cameron Curl kind of playing that Buffalo nickel. That's going to be interesting to see how that trio ends up being in DeShazer Everett will continue uh, you know playing great special teams and you know coming on defense if he needs to especially if we have an injury and then no surprises here Trest Way Dustin Hopkins and Cameron Cheeseman making the roster a bunch a bunch of great kick not great kickers a bunch of good options at kicker were made available um, with these cuts, if I were Washington, I would bring someone in, but I know they're not going to do it, but, and I think that's a mistake, but you know, we'll, we'll see how everything turns out, but that is the 53-man roster, the fi- or the 53-man roster for now, likely though, going to change in the next hours, days, uh, definitely things will change, but I want to hear what you guys have to say, great, great story that Samus Reyes and Jarrett Patterson made the team, unfortunate AGG didn't make the team, and a couple others, but let me know, I want to hear this from you, three things, the biggest surprise cut, the um, guy that you wish didn't make the team, and you're the guy, you know, you're really, really happy that made the team, so thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and turn on those post notifications, so you never miss a video, peace guys.